next Reddit. Uh, I actually hate uh, thread, threaded uh, conversation and upvote downvote um, and actually reputation systems. So uh, I hope not more of it uh, in one sense. I mean, I, I think it has its place and it's definitely, I mean, it, it offers something very different from something like 4chan um, uh, and probably you know, necessary in its own way. Um, I've never been a fan of is that because of the anonymity that you're you're trying to give people the space? I, yeah, I think so. I, mean, that... I think the, the point of, of something like 4chan in terms of the the anonymity that it provides on kind of like the front end perspective is that you know every user essentially has um, an equal voice, um, and you know yes you have to kind of like climb climb to the top of a heap you know over and over and over to kind of make sure your voice is heard, but um, you kind of go into it with the same amount of you know karma. Essentially, you have zero karma. Whereas on a, on a community like Reddit, you know, certain users, I mean, and this is not just Reddit, but pretty much most other online communities with some form of registration or karma or upvote downvote, um, you know, a certain weight is, is attributed to, to some people's comments as opposed to others. And it's just something that I personally don't really enjoy. I actually, I'm a fan of the idea that, that you can connect people through existing social graphs to allow them to easily share things. Um, Expression is still difficult today, I, and I know that it sounds totally weird because like so many people are tweeting and writing blogs and photoshopping random heads onto things. And yeah, that happens, but expression still needs to be easier, and you do have um, mechanisms that does make it simpler. And I'm a fan of that because I want more people to be involved in the process. Now, there is something to be said about being able to stay out of that, um, being following you for the rest of your life. Like you don't want that system to be a shorthand for a permanent record that you, that you, travels with you, where you can't get a job because you favored a, a you know bad piece of joke ten years ago. Like there's definitely a balance to be had between there. Proposition? I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Mook got some propositions on the way here, but. Um. Whatever both they're missing, they don't want my advice for how to <laughs> probably um, end up somewhere and lose a kidney in the process. So, <laughs> uh, so we, we have a Bravo show that's in the works. Um, that's been announced, so that's not secret. Uh -huh. So I'll just leave it at that. All right. He's fixing television. I'm not fixing, trust me, I'm not fixing television. Uh, your traditional meme celebrity is absolutely, positively wanting to be on television. That's where the money is. That's where the fame is. That's where the distribution is. The, the, as much as I'd like to believe that we are entering the mainstream with internet culture, when you compare us to the fact that people will spend $2,000 on a machine that will pump advertising into their house, we have nothing on television yet. It's still incredibly powerful. And that, that king-making ability of television still remains today. Uh, I think we're eroding away at it, um, but it's very clear the excitement that television brings in people's lives. Uh, I, think, I think the content quality is, is there for the most part. I think there's, also what's happened in the last 20 years with cable is that there's a lot more diversity in the type of content that you get. Like reality TV didn't come into being until cable showed up and you know it needed more content to fill those airwaves and it kept on feeding upon itself. But that's where the internet has a humongous advantage is that it is on demand, it is really brief so that you, you can read it while you're waiting for the bus and there's an infinite diversity of content that you can also interact with and be a part of. I don't watch any television so this is just all lost to me, sorry. <laughs> you will watch my show I, though, right? I don't even own a television. Okay, well I'll send you some DVDs. <laughs> I don't have a DVD player. <laughs> I have a MacBook Air. <laughs> I didn't even play this. But you're the guy who does the. Wait, aren't you the old model? Are you going to tell us how to defend against you? Okay. All right. <laughs>